Hi everyone, you're right. Alan here once again. Yeah. Well, it looks like phase two. What do I mean by that? Well, um, Rankiner has been given another round of major projects for building a part, a uh, building um, um, tower blocks. Um, yeah, so this is a few a few months ago. A few months ago, uh, they just finished. Uh, they're just finishing off phase one. Um, it looks like they're going on to phase two now. Very soon, soon as they've finished uh, the projects that they're doing at the moment. Well, there's a couple, there's a couple of projects that they're finishing off. Um, I understand that uh, um, Crown Street is on the way to be completed, and there's an, an another um development going up beside besides uh beside the ship canal um it's like i said before you ain't going to be able to distinguish one area from the other you won't know if you're in salford or in manchester because were were they where the Manchester Crown Court is, um, if you go a bit further back, you are actually in Salford. <laughs> You're in Salford. After that, if you go further back, and what is going to happen is you're not going to be able to distinguish which area you're in because it's just going to blend blend in it's like i said in one of my other videos yeah it's going to get very interesting because what's going what i've been hearing is that there's like a road where the old Salford Hospital used to be. That is now, that is now. If I remember, I think I think what I heard, the old Salford Hospital is now apartments. Hmm, what a place to have an apartment. Ooh. Well, just across road from that, there was um, an empty patch of land, and then you had this convenience store. Opposite the co which you have the co-op at the end there. Well, that uh, bit of area there is earmarked for development. They might have stu they might have actually started on it, um, because some of the videos from that area, that area, are pretty old. If anybody is not. If anybody um, is on a bus or something and is in that area, put a video up. Put a video up, and we, we people would like to see what's happened to that area, because I heard that they were putting up another tower block um, there, and the guy was m meant to be. Uh, well, then selling his shop while he was moving out, actually. And uh, has that shop gone yet? Um, because what they were planning to do is put where his shop was uh, a tower block. And, uh, yeah, I wonder if they started doing that yet. I'm going to have to pay that area a visit because uh, to see what... Uh, 
the situation is with that. Because if I remember too rightly, at back of that, there was a row, there was an actual row of, um, they were fairly new houses. And I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened or what the turnout, what the uh, thing was about those. But uh, Rankin was going, or another construction, it's either Rankin or another construction company, um, got that got that piece of land uh, in front of them. And uh, when I went past before, they'd started putting up the rebar and everything. They started doing the groundwork for it. How that's turned out to be, I don't know. Because nobody's done an actual... No one's actually uh, done an actual vlog of that, um, and took took some footage of it. If anybody's in the Salford area, and uh, yeah, how how's that piece of piece piece of land? Uh, de- has it been developed into a high rise, like the rest? Um, but. Uh, We'll soon find out sooner or later. Um, I am planning a trip to Salford once again, and uh, I might, I might uh, wander into that area, have a, have a butchers of what is going on, you know. Um, but the major thing, I feel sorry for the people who have houses there. Because if they do decide to put, if they do decide to put a tower block there, um, basically, the amount of light that they'll get is gonna be cut. It's gonna be cut. But then again, uh, that road is. F- full of development yeah full of development and most of it most of it is basically student accommodation um for the university of salford and as you get further and further into the kind of bit manchester manchester area you find more and more and more student accommodation, University of Manchester, uh, the Metropolitan University of Manchester. There are the main two, um, main two universities there. Then you've got the colleges. You've got the College of, you've got the. Uh, City College of Manchester and one or two others, and uh, yeah, if it, it if you know it's gonna be one of those things, and I just hope everybody's uh, being civil to everybody. Um, I've been seeing on the TV absolute uh, idiotic scenes of people being nasty to each other one guy even pulled a screwdriver out on somebody uh yeah just over some petrol no oh, well the uh, there are there is a bit of news on that situation uh situation um they're going to ask army tanker drivers to step in and uh take fuel out to some of these filling stations so that um they can get get filled but uh, people were saying uh you know well they think that fuel's gonna run out so but it's not because um as i know of uh, the fuel ter- one of the fuel two of the fuel terminals that I that I know of 
or the tanks are full. The tanks are full. All they're waiting for is the uh, is the lorries to come up, the tankers to come up and uh, basically take it away. Um, that's all they're waiting for. Even some of this is being uh, put on, put in, well, some of it's being put in, uh, put carried, you know, driven off in tankers to, uh, say, to fuel depots uh, so that uh, there's fuel there for the drafts for for the for the drivers to pick up, but uh, you know there's an absolute shortage of tanker drivers. It's not just here; it's it's um, all the way across. Uh, it's affecting. It's also affecting Europe, but not to to uh, a a larger extent extent. Because in some parts of Europe they have pipelines and uh, they use a lack of pipeline to uh, get fuel to places. Yeah, shame we can't do that here. Put if there's a petrol station, put a put a fuel pipeline to it, so they don't have to. They can have tanks and then. Instead of sending uh, tankers there, they can basically uh, send it via pipeline. Well, it's not too blooming. It's not too blooming warm here. Um, a, a broadband company's. I can't remember which broadband company uh, it was. Has basically gone bust. And uh, yeah, they've uh, their cust their customers have been moved to. Uh, I didn't know Shell did their communications, but they do. Uh, Shell Internet, Shell Energy. Um, they have. They just don't do. Uh, fuel they have a broadband sub- subsidiary as well I don't know who supplies their broadband you know where to get it off is it I think it's an open reach uh, thing that uh, they use open reach to uh, their um, for their stuff also I've been hearing that uh, about plus Nat. Plusnet is a subsidiary of B of BT, and they've decided to basically get rid of their TV service. So, if you're a Plusnet um, subscriber. And you have uh, Plus Net TV. Well, uh, it might be going away soon. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. And the other thing is Sky. Sky TV. Well, 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 well. Sky TV is looking at uh, doing away with a satellite dish. Um, it has been announced. Uh, the reason why I think that is because uh, they don't want uh, engineers climbing up on ladders and stuff like that and putting dishes up. Because... In some areas, in some areas, they're basically turn, turning round and saying that dishes are completely, totally unsightly. 
and there could you know if in some circumstances they can do damage to property um but the technology's got uh a lot better i think and uh it also getting rid of the dish requirement uh cuts costs because you don't have to put a satellite dish up um i really do think that sky is aiming to move from um a satellite company to a streaming company like now tv or disney plus or netflix for people to uh to for them to get the sky services um yeah i think that's what's going to happen um they won't have the cost of engineers putting having to climb up and put dishes up but that is what i've that is what i've heard of the new uh cube boxes uh, what will happen is you will plug it into you've got two options you can either plug it into the back of a of your of your router or yeah you plug it into the back of your router and that or you can have your uh cube box uh, talk to your router via the Wi-Fi. Uh, was Sky going to be ro- going to be rolling this out very soon? How soon? I don't. They haven't announced. They haven't given it a launch date. This thing about um, Plusnet TV. Well, for what I've been hearing is that um, they're slowly whittling down um, Plusnet TV and Plusnet subscribers are going to have to look for another service. It's going to most probably be uh, BT uh, TV service. But I've been hearing that BT is actually um, going to uh, they're, they're looking at uh, a strip you know sky Q sort of format of uh, getting content to their customers so it looks like the days of the satellite dish are um getting limited in numbers uh, the need for a satellite dish but the major thing is folks what happens if your internet goes down you basically lose the lot then that's why I would suggest that you do stick to if you do have Sky uh, and you do, and that's your main main source of uh, getting your entertainment. Don't get rid of your dish; just keep hold of it, so that you have uh, a form of getting uh, some entertainment to yourselves, because uh, it's the way that Sky's going, and. Uh, you know, as broadband gets better, I think more. I think uh, more services will be inclined to um, move to that sort of format. 
I've also start, started uh, seeing that it's the same with uh, Freeview. Freeview is basically uh, an over-the-air network, but they don't need a satellite dish because they use the uh, they use a digital platform transmission platform and uh, yeah that they don't need a satellite dish for that there are parts of the free view um, set up that are basically doing the same thing half of them are going to be on use of a aerial and the other bit is going to be stream streaming it's a basically a hybrid uh, so be prepared for these changes folks because uh, yeah you don't want to be caught short well I'm going to bugger off before I do a big massive shout out to my subscribers your support is really, really appreciated. Um, my my um, subscribers are very important to me. And I just hope each and every one of you are okay. And... Uh, I hope you're all looking at look you know looking out for your families. If you haven't got a family, you know uh, I hope uh, things are going going well for you. Um things haven't been uh very pleasant of late but as the set song goes it can only get better. Um yeah big shout out to all the usual crowd uh and i hope everybody's uh you know being or being nice with each other um i've been into the shops in my area and the shortages haven't been too bad um because they've uh, you know managed to keep managed to keep the shelves full but uh, when the stout shelves start to em start to get a bit more empty uh I went to Poundland the other day and uh they they said to the public uh, we're closing the shop for an hour uh, to restock the shelves for you and uh, that's what they did everybody went out people finished off the shopping and uh, went outside went outside the store and uh, basically the staff got all the stock cages out and uh, refilled all the shelves and everything and there's only so much stock they can hold downstairs um so that they were pulling it up from downstairs and uh yeah they were uh being really quick quick at getting the stock back up back on the shelves and everything Matter of fact, I was pretty amazed at uh, how they were achieving it. It was like a big, to be truthful, it was a big, massive team effort on behalf of the, you know, with the, the staff members. Uh, they shut the shut the shop for a short while, and just basically f refilled all the shelves. And then uh, reopen the shop again. 
you know, it wasn't too long them being closed and refilling the shelves. Um, but I heard later on that day that uh, they must have done that about three, three, maybe four times that day because people were coming in and buying such, you know, buying such amounts of stuff. Um, yeah. It's just one of those things that happens. So I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bugger off and I'll push this video up to you all. And uh, keep safe, everybody. Bye for now.